I was not going to talk about this right now, but I guess I'm going to talk about this right now. <laughs> don't mind the scab on my hand. I don't know why I call it a scab. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I was just playing with some makeup this week. Like I was just playing around with new things, trying out new things. So I have a lot of new things in my favorites this week. And then I have one thing that I've had for a little bit. And yeah, as far as like makeup looks, it was kind of different every day, it really was. But like, this is one of my favorite sort of eye looks to do. It's just kind of like one of my go-tos you know, in different brands and stuff. So this is like an overall long time favorite, but I did do this eye look this week. And then again today, obviously, this lip was like a total surprise favorite. So yeah, I just got some good things to talk about. I was liking my hair like this this week, like a, I don't know, just all I did was just curl it under with like a one and a quarter inch iron and put some like texture spray in it and some hairspray. And I don't know, just kind of that like, 90s 2000 curled under sort of look and I like it. I think it's fun. So yeah, like that too this week. So let's get to the favorites. First favorite for eyes this week. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this palette, this brand, this website is so impressive to me. This is by the brand Bad Habit. This is the Inferno palette. This is from Shop Hush. And they just make like really super affordable, there's a Chester here on it, really super affordable makeup. And they do a lot of dupes of high-end palettes and they are impressive. I do have this on my eyes today, mainly just in my crease and my outer corner. And then I have something else on my eyes as well. But I've played with this multiple times. I am so impressed and excited about this palette. Like I love the packaging of it. I think it's so pretty. I'm gonna do a whole video on, they sent me a bunch of different palettes, um, Shop Hush did. So I'm gonna do a whole video on all the different palettes that they sent me, show you swatches, all that kind of stuff. But this one right here is one of the like standout favorites for me. So I have this in my crease, I have this in my crease. I've worn this one, I've worn this one, and then I'll show you one of the dark shades. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Let me show you one of the dark shades. Um, I'll show you burn. They're like the mattes are a little bit soft. I wouldn't call them powdery. They're a little bit soft, but I mean, no problems blending them. They wear well. I do wear a primer with them. I think that's important, especially with um, one particular palette they sent me and I'll go over that in the video. Um, that one I really noticed a good primer is important, but I wear a primer with all eyeshadows. So I think a primer is important with any eyeshadow. But I do think that, you know, it helps these shadows. But, I mean, they're just really good. I mean, honestly, I would still be excited about this palette if it were, like, $35. And I think that this is $10, which is so awesome and exciting. I get excited about affordable makeup. I love me some drugstore makeup. I've said that a good jillion times. I just love affordable makeup. And I get more excited about great affordable makeup than I do high-end makeup any day. So... This makes me super excited. I love it. I love the packaging. I love how it blends. I love the colors. I love how it wears. You can just get this like super like, like an inferno, sort of like a really, like a burned sort of an eye look. Not like your eyes burned because that wouldn't be good. <laughs> but like that, you know, fire sort of an eye look. It's just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about it. I love this palette. I cannot wait to see what all else they come out with because this is good. Laura Geller was so super sweet and sent me the most beautiful package of a bunch of different holiday items. So still playing around with those. I am gonna have a video on that. I do already have a standout favorite from those goodies she sent me, but also I bought a set myself off of QVC. This is the Jewel Box set. So I've had this a little bit longer and I've been playing with it and I love it. I just wanna show you the set, like what it comes like. So it comes like this. Obviously there's like things missing out of it cause I'm about to talk about them. But this is what it looks like. And then there's another product here I'm about to talk about, another product here, you get a lip color. I did wear this lip color this week. I've worn this powder. I'll show that in um, the video, like where I show all the different holiday stuff. I'll talk about this powder. This is so pretty. This is going off on a tangent. I was not going to talk about this right now, but I guess I'm going to talk about this right now. <laughs> this is the Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation. I have it in porcelain. It is so pretty. So it's like the Balance and Brighten, 
but it has like a little bit of like a glow to it. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty on the skin. That's a little side note. It's beautiful. So that's in the set. And then the two items that I've been loving this week, let me talk about the eye thing first. So there's the, there's a little eye duo in there and then there's a little like blushy duo thing. I'll explain the blushy duo thing in a moment. So this is the Baked Eyeshadow Duo in Almond and Chocolate. So I do have this on my eyes today with that Inferno palette. So I have the Inferno, that like warm sort of transition color, have that going on. And then I have this, used with MAC Fix Plus because it really intensifies it. And then I have a little bit of this in the outer corner. It's just a beautiful duo. Like you can, oh, I got the glimpse there for a second. I don't know what the heck happened, but you can just totally use this by itself, like with some, you know, of your bronzer in your crease and then super duper easy eye look. I mean, look how pretty that is. It's so beautiful. They're pigmented. They blend well. I mean, they are baked shadows, so it's a different sort of an experience using a baked eyeshadow, but I like baked eyeshadows. I think they're fun to play with, you know, it's just like playing with makeup. So I like playing with baked shadows and it's a fun, like more cool tone duo. So if you're kind of sick of the warm tones, this is a little bit more of that cool toned kind of taupey color and then sort of like chocolatey taupey brown, really pretty. But I love the kind of like contrast and mixing of a cool tone color on the lid that kind of like, I don't know, taupey color or kind of like a dirty green sort of color on the lid and then a warm crease. I think that's a really pretty eye look. So that's what I was talking about is this is kind of like an eye look that I enjoy doing from all different brands. Like, you know, I've done this eye look or something similar to this a bunch of times, like with different products. So anyway, I like this eye look in general, but I was doing it with this and the Inferno palette this week and really liking it. And the blush duo thingy in here is really beautiful. This is the Baked Blush and Brighten in Ethereal Rose on one side and then Satine Subtle Berry. So I really wasn't doing any bronzer this week, so I don't have any bronzer on my face. I just have this duo and then a highlighter. So what Laura was saying when she was presenting this whole set is that Ethereal, is that what it's called? Ethereal Rose, I guess is like a big time fan favorite. And I don't think it's around all the time. So it came back out in this set and it's like this beautiful kind of really light, rosy pink shade, just a really light pink, but it's got like a glow to it. I don't even know if you can really truly see it, but I mean, it's there on my cheeks, but then I also have more of this, like a little bit more of this and then some of this mixed together kind of on my cheeks. I was just kind of like, playing with this in different ways this week. So the light pink, the ethereal rose, just adds this like light pinky glow to the skin. So it looks really pretty with that um, balance and glow. It just gives this like gorgeous look on the skin. And then the other side is kind of more of like a, like a glowy mauve sort of color. But I did feel like I didn't like need a bronzer with this like looking at it in a swatch it doesn't look like that would like work to not have a bronzer involved somehow to like give shape to the face but it was almost like just that glow to the cheeks was sort of like giving the shape to the face i feel like it looks so different swatch than it does on the face so there it is by itself there it is this is ethereal rose by itself there is the subtle berry by itself sateen subtle berry by itself I have a scab, don't mind the scab on my hand. I don't know why I call it a scab. I have a scab on my hand, so don't mind the scab. And then this is the two of them like blended together. So really pretty, just like glowy duo. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I like, I love her makeup. I, that, I, I feel the same way about It Cosmetics. Like I just, I love the whole theme to their brand that it's very just sort of like beautiful, youthful, glowy, healthy looking skin where people compliment compliment your skin more than your makeup. I mean, I love a makeup compliment too because that's usually, I don't know, complimenting your creativity, which is fun, but I don't know, you know what I mean? Like where it's just, it makes your skin just look so pretty and I feel like this is one of those products. It's just gorgeous on the skin. It just gives this beautiful, youthful, girly glow. It's so pretty. So one of the things that she sent me is a really great set of their highlighters 
These are the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminators. So there are four different ones in the set and then a the little brush and I'm really enjoying the brush too. And this one is a new color from the set. So this is definitely a standout favorite for me this week because it is beautiful. It's so fun. So I have this on my cheekbones today. It is just, oh my gosh. Again, just like girly and glowy and beautiful. And I don't even know, I don't even know how to describe this color either. It's like super light and icy, but then it has like a little bit of like a pink lavender shift to it. Oh, it's so pretty. It is very, very light, very light. But the set comes with, um, what does it come with? Gilded Honey, Peach Glow, and Ballerina, and then this one. So you get like, you know, three of the like core collection and then you get the new one. Like I think this one is just in this set and like just coming out for holidays. I don't know if it's gonna stick around or if it's just a temporary thing, but oh my goodness, it's just so pretty. It just has this like icy, icy sheen to it so pretty. I don't have this on the inner corners of my eyes today, but I wore it that way a lot this week as well as on my cheekbones. But yeah, and then with that like blush duo thingy, oh my goodness, it's amazing. Love this. For lips this week, a little random that I just pulled out of my collection and really enjoyed is my Milani lipstick in Matte Beauty. I don't even remember what makeup look I was doing with this lip color. Probably something like this. I think, I can't remember, but I liked this lip color. That's really just the point of what I'm trying to say is this was one of my lip favorites this week and it's really pretty. It's like a super warm um, terracotta brown. Like it's less terracotta, definitely more brown, um, but it has that kind of like warmth to it. So pretty. I think some of that highlighter is just like left on my hand. So my hand looks kind of a little bit glowy. That lip color, oh, that's pretty. I like that. I love these lipsticks. I think they're great ones from the drugstore, great ones in general, really. I mean, they're just awesome matte lipsticks. They're comfortable, but they're super long wearing. They smell nice. Mm, they smell like vanilla. They're great. I still need to put up my video on the peach collection, but I wore this lip color this week and these lip colors are so fun and they smell incredible. I love the scent on them. I think that's one of the reasons that I love them so much. I really like the formula, but the scent, oh my goodness. It was a, I was talking to myself the first time I wore one of these because I mean, just, I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't remember what I said, yummy or something like that the first time I put one on because it smells straight up like, like real peaches and cream or like, well, or like a peaches and cream dessert. Like it still smells a little bit candy, but very, very creamy. Oh my goodness. I didn't even tell you what this color is. This is doll face. It's a very light color. So I wear this with Tawny just to kind of blend it. And you know, Tawny just goes with everything. And I talk about Tawny all the time. So favorite little $2 lip liner goes with everything. But anyway, I wore it with this. So it's just like a beautiful, light peachy nude. So beautiful. These are super creamy and comfortable. They stick around on your lips. This is a light color, so it can accentuate dryness a little bit, but this is not drying at all. It's very, very creamy. Um, it's just one of those light colors that pretty much any light color is going to accentuate a little bit of dryness, but I do feel like the dryness is almost helped a little bit by this because it's so creamy. So anyway, that's like once it kind of melds into your lips, it's totally fine. And I don't notice that like dry look with the other two colors I have with this. So I don't think it's the lipstick. I think it's just the color of the lipstick. So note that you may want to exfoliate your lips the night before, before you, you know, wear it, if you get this specific color, but it's just a really pretty nude. I love it. And then last favorite for the week is an Avon lipstick. So I'm going to be doing some posts on Instagram, and then I think I'm going to do a lip swatch party of my favorites from all the ones that they sent me. They sent me a bunch of different colors. I think it's every single color that they sent me. So anyway, I wore this one this week and this was a total like, oh my goodness, surprise favorite. I really, really like this. They are really, really tiny, the writing on the back. So I had to make myself new little labels because I legit could not see them. It's just so tiny. And there's a lot of other writing. So it's like the name gets like lost in all the tiny writing. So anyway, this one is Spiced 
apricot and it is a satin. So just FYI, I'm showing you this, I'm telling you this. So if you see this, I made my own labels for them. So just a little side note. So anyway, what did I say it was? Spiced apricot. It is a really beautiful red, but I feel like it's like a, a really kind of unique red and I love how it wears. So I've had this on for a little bit and you can kind of see, so it's shiny there, but then it sort of sets down to more of a satin and I don't know, it just like, I think kind of makes your lips look a little bit plump because it sort of has this little bit of a sheen to it that kind of catches the light. It's just really pretty and it's kind of a, like a rusty red is how I would kind of describe it. It has a little bit of that like rust tone to it. It's beautiful. I think it pairs really nicely with an eye look like this. It's got that like warmth to it, that kind of like fiery feel. This is very comfortable on the lips. It starts out very creamy feeling, so I would check your teeth. But once it sets, I don't feel like this is going to go everywhere. Um, I wore this for a long time one day. Like, it's not the longest wearing lipstick. It, it's not going to wear like a matte or like a stain or anything like that. But I think for a cream lipstick, because it kind of sets down, it does stay around for a pretty good amount of time. So, yeah, I really, really like this. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!